Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and welcome to another Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over the standard desaturated soft portrait preset, and we're going to talk about exactly what images this works well on, as well as how we created this mixology, again, to help you guys understand and learn the preset system better. So once again, this is a soft portrait preset, which again is going to kind of soften the overall image. It's going to desaturate the colors and kind of create a nice uh, vintage toning to our images. But again, it's kind of meant to be used in more of a portrait setting since it does kind of soften the overall image. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply it to this image and just see what it looks like. Once it's applied, we still want to make adjustments to either our color or our temperature. Uh, color being you guys can add color schemes uh, down below or you can just change the temperature to whatever amount you want. And it kind of has this nice uh, desaturated look. We can still keep it a little bit on the warmer side, but it has a really nice classic look uh, when we compare that to the before image. All right, so let's apply this to a few other images and let's see what it looks like and then uh, we'll go through and we'll create this preset. Uh, so I think it would also look good on, probably actually look really good on this image. Uh, just because this image already kind of has muted tones, I think it would do a really nice job of just really bringing attention into our subjects and yeah, it has a really nice look to it. So from here, we just make some standard adjustments. Might go to my base adjustments, uh, make a half, plus half lighten and then we'll just go and adjust you know we can either go and adjust temperature or what I might do in this one is just go and add like a uh, color toning to it and just say add um, you know we could put yellow on orange just to give it that warmer look to it but again it gives us that really nice kind of desaturated look that uh, you know just kind of pulling out the colors bringing the focus into the subjects and creating that nice vintage toning especially with the yellow orange analogous color scheme added to it alright let's go to another image let's try it out again uh, let's show you guys the before and after on that one too. So here's the, that one was the after, here's the before on that one. All right. Uh, these desaturation uh, settings work really, really well with the color schemes. So because the, you know, you can add those color schemes and keep a little bit of the original tone while also adding additional color tones to it. I think it also really work well in this image. That's another classic kind of look to it. Let's go into the My Mixology. We'll apply the standard desaturated. Again, it kind of has that softening look. If we compare this to the Vivid version, you'll see a lot of additional detail in that Vivid version, which when dealing with skin and stuff like that isn't the most flattering thing. So from here, I would just make again a base adjustment to kind of bring up the uh, exposure and it looks great right there. I think it's totally fine. All right, guys, so let's pick an image and actually go through and create this preset. So I'm going to go back to my grid view. Uh, let's go down and select an image that we think it'd work well with. It'd work really well with a lot of these images, so let's just kind of find and pick one. So let's go to this image right here. This would look pretty well. She's dressed kind of in these, they're both dressed in kind of a more vintage outfit, so it would really work well with this kind of desaturated look. So we're going to jump into the develop module by hitting D. Again, uh, you guys should have imported with the standard import preset, so it's already applied, but if not, apply it now. We're going to jump into our base adjustments, and the first thing we're going to do is go down to our base tones. We're going to do a portrait flatten, because again, this is a portrait, a soft portrait uh, preset. We want it to kind of soften the skin tones and everything like that. Uh, we're also going to do a light soften for detail just to kind of diminish some of the detail that we don't want. We're going to do a light boost on the contrast just because we're going to need a little bit extra contrast when we finish this image. Um, I'm also going to actually zero out, we're going to zero out the blacks just to give us a little bit more blacks in the image just to kind of increase the contrast a little bit overall. Next, we can skip saturation because we're actually going to um, modify the saturation with the, with the actual curve itself. We're going to go down to the noise reduction. Again, this is for portraits. We're going to add the light. Once again, this is an optional step for you guys, but we want a little bit of softening there. Again, it's not going to affect the overall detail, just a little bit on the pores and stuff like that. We're going to drop in the neutral curves, and we're going to select the neutral punch with the desaturated, which is number 33. So it's going to add a punchy tone to the image, but it's also going to desaturate the overall tones on the image as well. All right, guys, from here we're done. We can go back up, save this preset out. Once again, our settings is to have everything checked with the exception of white balance, lens profile corrections, transform, and chromatic aberration, because these are the four things that we want to basically adjust from preset to preset, um, and these are also included. These are included based on which standard import preset you guys use. All right, guys, so from here you guys would choose the My Mixology, 
put it in whatever numbering naming system you guys like and hit create we already have this preset saved in the 1.1 update as 12 standard desaturated so if I select this we'll have the exact same look and that's why it doesn't change so check out the before and after from these and you can kind of see that nice softened desaturated look on these images from here you guys would just adjust your exposure and your white balance to taste and you're done alright guys so great job let's go on to the next mixology tutorial